Salut à tous, it's Jarin. I hope you've had an excellent week. I have had a wonderful week, mainly because I happened to find one of the best movies I've seen in a really long time, and it's a French film. So it's called Portrait de la Fille en Feu, or Portrait of a Lady on Fire. It is a period drama about forbidden love. If that doesn't sound like something you'd be into, it didn't sound like something I wanted to watch either, but I am so happy I watched it because it is a beautiful, beautiful film. Um, it, as I said, is about kind of forbidden love for the time. It's very sexy. It's very sad and moving for sure. Um, and yet the, one of the characters is a painter and so the actors are fantastic also but the cinematography a lot of the shots just look like paintings it's it's an amazing movie so I think it came out last year so I rented it um I recommend it I really really recommend it because also for French learners there isn't a ton of dialogue and because it's set in the 1700s uh there isn't any slang um and people speak I find quite clearly so it's perfect for learning French as well so check that out if you're looking for film recommendations I finished La Monte which is a Netflix show a crime thriller I really enjoyed it um spoiler alert if you want to watch it fast forward skip this but I thought the end was a little unfeasible so she was supposedly she saw her mum mauled to death by a lion but actually it was her dad who killed her mum and she was you know confused by the trauma of, of seeing what she saw but I feel like the authorities would be able to tell the difference between a lion mauling and a bludgeoning I don't know maybe not but I found that kind of I mean it's just it's a tv show but I thought that was a little ridiculous but overall it's a great show i learned lots of french swear words so if you're looking to offend people in french then i suggest you watch le monde my favorite and probably the only one i can say in this video is oh la vache i love that i guess it's like oh my god oh holy cow i've been saying that one a lot so oh la vache but yeah i also recommend le monde and i will be starting a new show uh tonight actually i don't know what i will start but something on Netflix. So if you guys have seen anything good recently, please let me know. I've been thinking this week about high school language lessons and how they have, my experience in high school uh, has affected my language studies in later life and especially French uh, because I did have French in school. Um, I think it's interesting and I'd love to hear from you. I think it's interesting that most people you meet, the most people, most people that I've met most certainly have had a negative experience in high school or just school when it comes to learning, learning languages. So, um, they were made to feel, uh, bad for not being able to perfectly pronounce something after hearing it on a tape in class, corrected in front of their peers, never a good thing, especially for teenagers. Um, you know, they were made to, they were drilled grammar, aspects of grammar and are not allowed to kind of explore the language, explore content through the language so that the, their interest is peaked. Um, it definitely seems that most experiences have been negative Mine certainly was. So I grew up in Wales in the UK, the capital city, Cardiff, which is a bit of a rough city, a bit of a rough school as well. So we uh, we had French teachers from France. And um, I think the teacher that I had for the three years that I took French at school from age 11 to 14, let's call her Madame V., uh, I think she came from a small town or village in France and was maybe used to 
well-behaved little French kids. <laughs> she came to this inner city school in Wales and just could not handle us at all. And from the get-go, we realized that she wasn't a teacher who had any kind of authority. So um, a lot of the kids uh, definitely took advantage of her. Anyway, it was, it was a bad scene. She couldn't control us. She couldn't, um, she couldn't excite us with learning French. She couldn't get us um, into it. She didn't try. I, I feel as if she um, was just stressed out for a lot of the time. So maybe it's just this one teacher and this one experience that I just was unlucky. And maybe the other teachers in the French department were great, but I after hearing from friends, I don't think so. I think that overall the experience with these teachers in this French department at my school was that we were drilled dra grammar, we were taught through a textbook, um, there was no, you know, what would you like to read about, learn about, what can we explore through the medium of French, what about the culture interests you, it was just get the textbook out, page 28, let's, you know, practice, you stand up, repeat after me, pronounce that wrong, this is how you pronounce it, repeat after me, okay, sit down. So it was uninspiring, it was, um, it wasn't fun, it wasn't uh, engaging. And I understand that teachers need to hit certain topics, especially a language teacher, you have to teach grammar, that's just the way it is, but uh, I think there is a better way of going about it, for sure. And so those negative experiences that I had at school, I'm definitely seeing them come through in my study of the French language now in two ways. I, I'm nervous to start chatting with a tutor on Link because I wonder how good my pronunciation is, how good, how well I can actually speak, obviously. But the, definitely the, the whole pronunciation thing shouldn't really matter. I mean, of course, I need to be able to nail the pronunciation. I want to. I want to be able to speak French well, but if my tutor can understand me and we can have a conversation, um, it's not such a big deal that I don't get it spot on, especially at the beginning. So I'm trying to let go of that. And also something I talked about recently in a, in a, in a previous video is um, I have this guilt feeling when I don't finish a piece of content. So I start reading a news article or a podcast episode or whatever it is, and I don't finish and there's this nagging in the back of my head, you know, you need, you need to finish your work. No, I don't. It's great. I don't have to finish. <laughs> I, can, I can study however I want because as long as I'm f feeling engaged by the content and want to, I think it's important that I want to find out about the topic and French is the medium which I'm find in, through which I'm finding out about it. So I'm not so much trying to learn French as trying to get to the subject matter. And I'm finally finding now that I'm getting to a place with my level where I can do that. So um, yeah, letting go of the negative uh, associations that I have with language learning and with French definitely this week. I'm, I noticed that they're there anyway and I'm trying to just dispel those. And um, yeah, just carrying on with finding content that I'm actually interested in. So more TV shows, more podcast episodes. I love reading the news. I didn't know that I would ever know so much vocabulary around the pandemic <laughs> when I first started this journey in January, but I do. So is what it is I guess but uh, yeah I would love to hear your experiences uh, if any of you have a particularly negative or positive actually I'd be more interested if if anyone and surprised if anyone has a particularly positive experience from uh, high school language lessons French or any other because I know there are teachers out there who are amazing and can really engage students and um, get them turned on to a language in ways that others just just can't so i would love to hear experiences and i will see you guys next friday